Hello guys, this is Dr. Possibility from Excel Academy. Please make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure that you follow up this class until the end of it. In today's class, I'm just going to explain on irrational numbers. So, what are irrational numbers? That's the first question we need to ask ourselves. What are irrational numbers? So, when we talk of irrational numbers, I'm pretty sure we followed up the previous class. So irrational numbers are numbers are numbers that can not be expressed are numbers that cannot be expressed in the form uh, A over B. So these are just numbers that cannot be expressed in the form in the form a over b or p over q so in some books they'll write a over b and some books they'll show you write b or a over b okay so let me quickly give examples okay so the first example that i'm going to give is prove that prove that uh, square root 2 is an irrational number. Okay, let's prove that square root 2 is an irrational number. So we are going to start with this question. So the first thing that I'm going to write is solution. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to write is solution. Since we have been given we have been given square root 2 and we need to prove it if it is an irrational number. So we are going to say by contradiction, by contradiction, contradiction, or let's assume that, or you can say let's assume, okay, let's assume that square root 2 is a rational number so here we have just uh, assumed that square root 2 is a rational number then what does it mean we know that uh, rational numbers can be expressed in the form of a over b so then we can say then we can say square root 2 is simply equal to p over q like we said so from this point ladies and gentlemen the only thing needed is for us to get rid of this square root by introducing a squared so we have introduced the squared and that squared and that squared will go so we have 2 is equal to p squared over q squared so after doing that what's next with us so we are going to cross multiply there we are going to cross multiply there so when we cross multiply we're going to have 2q squared is simply equal to p squared so if we said 2q squared is equal to p squared what does this expression mean so this means that this means that p squared is divisible by 2. This means that p squared is divisible by 2. And p is also divisible by 2. So since um, p squared is divisible by 2, this also means that p is also divisible by by 2 so after doing that this is what we are going to do so the next thing we are going to say we are going to say let's p be equal to 2r let's p be equal to 2r then we are going to replace where there is q we are going to put uh where there is p we are going to put r in this expression here so what we are going to have when we do that we are going to have something like um 
we're going to have something like 2q squared is equal to 2r squared okay so if we work out that very well we are going to have something like this so we're going to have 2q squared is equal to 4r squared so we divide throughout by 2 we divide throughout by 2 so when we divide throughout by 2 what are we simply going to have so when we simply when we divide throughout by 2 that one and that one will go that into that it is 2 so we are going to have q squared is equal to 2r squared so this means this means that q squared is divisible by 2 is divisible by um, 2 and q is also divisible by 2 so if you look at um at the first statement we made the first statement we made was p was divisible by 2 and q is now also divisible by 2 so since both q since both p and q are divisible by 2 or since both have uh, the common factor which is 2 the expression the expression or notation square root 2 is contradicting is contradicting contradicting our assumption okay our assumption therefore okay you can say therefore square root 2 is an irrational number therefore square root 2 is an irrational number okay so that's it for the first example so let me quickly give you another example which is going to be example two so example two will be given that given that given that square root five is an irrational number is an irrational number prove that prove that okay prove that 2 minus square root 5 is also an irrational expression okay irrational expression so we have been given that square root 5 is an irrational number what about 2 minus square root 5 so this is what we are going to do we're going to write solution we're going to write solution so when we write solution we are going to say assume assuming that assuming that uh, 2 minus square root 5 is a rational number is a rational number so we have assumed that 2 minus square root 5 is an irrational number so what are we going to do next so the next thing we are going to say we are going to say then we we'll simply do 2 minus square root 5 is simply equal to p over q so when we work out this when we work out this you're going to find that we're going to take 2 to the other side. We're going to take 2 to the other side. So we're going to have negative square root 5 is simply equal to P over Q uh, minus 2. So if we want, if we wish, 
we can say this side you say times negative one and also this expression times negative one so when we multiply both sides by negative one what are we going to have so what we are going to have is that we are going to have square root five is simply equal to two minus p over q so after doing that we can simply work out the right side by um, working it out as a fraction so we're going to have square root 5 is simply equal to a common denominator it is q um, 1 into q it is q q times 2 it is 2q minus a q into q it is 1 1 times a p it is p so this is our expression that we have so if you look at our expression carefully you can note that this guy is what this guy is irrational according to the expression so this guy is irrational and then this other guy is um is rational okay because this guy is a fraction so since um this side it is irrational and that side is uh, rational so we can say since square root 5 is rational is irrational since square root 5 is irrational and we know that square uh, 2q minus p over q is um rational is rational okay this contradict our assumption so this contradicts contradict our assumption this contradict our assumption therefore 2 minus square root 5 is an irrational number is an irrational number okay so guys this is all i add for you today so please make sure that you get in touch with me on positive 26 or 965 88 74 74 okay or you can visit us on facebook we are also on facebook so on facebook you can just click and search excel academy so excel academy and then you'll be able to find us from there thank you very much for following up my class have a blessed evening